hello good and welcome to hands tutorial so today i'm going to be teaching you in this video how you can actually be able to um um get um the inner speed wallet and um also i'll also be showing you how you can be able to send money and get registered on it so in my last video i actually spoke about um the purpose of inera what one can be able to do with it whether you can be able to invest and all that well if you've not yet um watch the video you can actually um, see the video in the description below or you click up there and then you can be able to get the link um, for the video or probably after the video you just wait you'll be able to see it pop up okay so basically but well, for me i basically feel that um the because it's actually built on blockchain it could be used to integrate a whole lot of things including having nan database on it having um vvn database on it having medical reports on it and so many other things i see a huge use of the inera platform but it all depends and then unless if inera will actually be incorporated by africa then i think um, it will go a long way in helping cross-border payment because that's what the cbn actually says though lots of persons don't really know how they actually intend to do that but if they are actually able to do that i think it will really 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 go a long way in helping out so um the first thing you need to do is um, you simply go on play store if you want to get the application you type in ira there and then um, it comes up so you can see the app here <laughs> already please be very careful there are already lots of apps that are coming out um claiming to be um in or something so please just be careful so you don't get scammed now this is a merchant wallet and this is the speed wallet but we're going to be looking at the speed wallet it actually has a white logo i've already spoken about the various categories of in era so once you do that you've downloaded the app you're good to go and then the next step you do it's um you actually have to sign up okay so this is actually the in era interface so i'll simply click on sign up which is at the bottom there and so once i do that they ask me to sign up with my bank here i'll be asked to put in my phone number and um, after putting my phone number i will also need to put in um, email address and um, so after your email address um, after the email address after your email address a code will actually be sent to a code to act you click on continue here a code will actually be sent to your um email so you see quickly go over to your email you click on your email and copy the code and then you come back here and paste it okay the code actually expires after 10 minutes so whatever you're doing you have to act quick so you click on verify and then after that you will be taken to the various banks that actually partner with um in ira so you click on whichever bank it is you want and th then they will ask you to put in your password so usually the password is actually four digits number um sorry um i think a minimum of 10 or 12 digits numbers a uh, minimum of 12 so comprising of letters and all that so let's see so once you've done that uh, you're good to go so after imputing in your password this is actually a minimum of 12 um letters and numbers and a combination of both of them so after you're done with that the next thing you will need to do is that um, you will need to write in your first name your last name fixing your date of birth putting your date of birth and then your account number and then also your bvn once you're done you can click on continue okay so once you're done with the whole procedure um it's not difficult um an email will actually be sent to your mail so you simply go there and click and, and you'll be verified you'll be taken to a website so once you click on that and after that you can then go back to the app so this is exactly the way the whole interface looks like and um, there's a place for you to support support and though they tell you that if you have any issues you should actually contact your bank and then for the speed wallet um, you, you, there's a place for your qr code you can give someone your qr code so you can be able to receive payment you can also type a specific amount um you want to receive maybe um hundred thousand you confirm the amount and then you can share the code with um someone so that the person can actually be able to pay so um 
maybe on whatsapp or something you can just share it with anyone so maybe you want to make some payment you want to appreciate me for this beautiful video you're watching right now it's not a problem you can actually go ahead um, and then you know put the code or something so uh, i'll just send it to and then just you, you do that so the person receives the code and um so the person can be able to make payments so that's it now for the you can actually be able to request a specific amount if you want or you can just um share the code without any amount it's all of it's all your choice so if you say it's two thousand you want it's there and then you share the code but if you don't want it, you click done but if you don't want it you just share the code that way and then the money goes so here you can be able to see pay meantime you'll be able to view your camera and um, you can be able to view your camera so you can be able to make your payments and all that and then you put your phone behind and then you make your payments then also there's also another option for you to enter a payment code manually or probably the person's at his tag you can be able to enter the person's tag there so once you're done you're good to go so you can be able to view your history section if there are transactions that are done and then you can also be able to hide also be able to reload use to hide your balance and then reload whatever thing it is you want so hopefully i hope you've actually seen how to make use of the speed wallet but just in case you um you still have issues you can be able to contact your bank the bank that you registered with please take note that whatever bank it is that you're using to get registered also have this at the back of your mind that the bank as what well will remain i don't think it might really be easy for you to switch your bank that easily i don't think so for the now at least um so far you might not be able to sign up with another bank because the bvn has already been taken note of then also um if you've not yet subscribed to my channel please click on the subscription button and do not forget to hit the notification bell so that you can also be able to get awesome updates like this and um, thank you for watching but if you also have no hard time to watch the video where i spoke about the function of inaira how it functions and everything um do well to find it um in one of the videos that will actually pop up right now thank you very much for watching and in my next video i'm going to talk about how to get registered on the merchant app for those persons who actually intend to move huge volume of money or you also intend to do um you also intend to be able to pay people um with in era with in era because the merchant app gives you the ability for you to add other employees to the app so that people can be able to make payment maybe a company or something that's the purpose of the merchant app and then also remember that the um there are three tiers for the speed wallets which i've already spoken about um, tier one tier two tier three those who have nin those who have bvn and then maybe who have bvn but they're not registered or they have a bank account and those who have bvn are also registered so probably with that they can actually be able to get themselves registered on speed wallets so according to what you have um, you that's exactly but still remember that your verification or your level of kyc will determine the amount of money you can be able to send in a day tier 0 is 20 tier 1 it's um 50000 and i think tier 2 it's um 200000 why tier 4 um allows you to do way much more but you can actually be able to hold a maximum balance of 5 million uh, without issues but sending a day it's where you will actually have those issues so thank you very much for watching and do have a nice day